Hello, we offer a wide variety of services at Tracy Ruiz Consultants, and the overarching umbrella of our company is safety. Whether that be safety awareness, de-escalation tactics, or hands-on self-defense. In shifting gears, we also enjoy helping our vulnerable populations. Let's discuss a little bit about our elder or vulnerable adults. There are sometimes people that are slipping in memory and or they're having falls within their own homes. They might recognize their limitations and say something, or maybe their loved one is recognizing these limitations. That's when we get these phone calls. It's a very confusing or challenging to get through these systems, know all the resources, and how to resource for your loved one if you're not working within this arena all the time. So one of the services that we offer, we can sit down, we wanna make sure that that individual that may need more care is involved in that discussion, if at all possible. So we like to involve the person in the discussion and their loved ones as well if they have other people that can help advocate for them. So we will sit down, we'll devise a care plan, we'll talk about resources. Um, some of the key resources, did you know it's important to have an elder law attorney, a specific elder law attorney, not just someone, an attorney that says they can um, put together a guardianship, will, or trust. There's a lot more involved to extended care than just those items. So key to get an elder law specialist, a financial advisor that you can trust if you have any assets, and a geriatric specialist is going to be key as well. Not just a primary care physician that says that they can run your loved one or the individual through some testing. You want a geriatric specialist that will go through the appropriate dementia, Alzheimer, maybe um, run labs. There are a lot of um, things that are involved in geriatric testing, and so it's it's important to get to those appropriate resources. And the other thing is if you own a home um, or your own town home, um, that will be considered another asset and you'd wanna find a trusted realtor. Again, we do the resourcing for you, so we kinda of take the stress out of um, the, the loved one or for the family members. It's often challenging when you have to work. You have maybe children that you're raising and now you're trying to help raise parents. Some people can't do all that, and that's why they'll look to putting their loved one in assisted living or a nursing home. There are differences. Most people don't know the differences between them, so we do explain the differences, and one may be more beneficial than the other. Um, what are the needs? When we involve the loved one in the discussion, I often ask, what does your idea look like? What do you want your golden years to look like? And let's shape this care plan around your ideal and let's see what we can make happen. So it's really important to listen to that individual and what their needs are so we enjoy meeting and, and having that one-on-one -on -one discussion. So touring facilities, it's really important when you tour the facilities, the, the future living arrangements, where will they be? <clears throat> Excuse me, housing checks. When you walk in, what do the residents look like? Do they look happy? Do you have your own bathroom? with a shower in your own room? What does the dining space look like? What is the menu? What does the food look like? Is it chef prepared food or is it a one size fits all that's not very appetizing? Do they have a resident council so that the residents can be involved in decisions moving forward, whether it be a menu, food choices, or other issues that arise at the facilities? Um, activities, what type of activities do they have? COVID protocols, do they allow visitors? That's a big deal if your loved one is gonna be put in further isolation. And they're social. Um, let's say there's someone that's super social, that could be detrimental for them. And that is another indicator, things that we look for when we look at living permanent living arrangements. Nursing services, doctors, do the doctors actually do exams of the residents or do they just go by notes that are put in or charted from a nurse? Uh, COVID, do you have hospice? Do you have hospice needs? Can a certain hospice service be picked by your choice and can they get into that facility? Um, some places don't allow certain hospice services. They make you choose. And some people don't realize there's a difference between for-profit or not-for-profit and differences between a hospital hospice or a private service hospice. And again, we can make those resident, um, recommendation and work with you for your loved one to live out the best of their golden years. There are also some free services 
you should be aware of what the free services are within your area. So again, those are a few of the things that we offer when we sit down and do family planning. And we're always here and willing to be able to chat with you. If you have any needs, you're welcome to get a hold of us at Tracy, T-R-A-C-I, R-U-I-Z, C-O-N-S-U-L-T-A-N-T-S dot com. So it's TracyRuizConsultants.com. We are on the web. We are on LinkedIn and Facebook with a regular page and a group page. So there are many ways to contact us. We'd be more than happy to help and make sure that your loved one can live out their golden years. Thank you.